Lesson 46 is all about order of operations with fractions. And the order of operations with fractions is no different than the order of operations with whole numbers or the order of operations with decimals. What we need to remember is that acronym PEMDAS. PEMDAS. Parentheses, parentheses, exponents, multiply and divide, add and subtract. Now, what that tells us in this problem is that we're going to have to do the division before we do the addition. So let's go ahead and solve. If we have 3 halves divided by 5 halves, we know that's the same as saying 3 halves times 2 fifths. We're going to copy that flip. Now, 2 divided by 2 is 1 over 1. So we're going to get an answer of 3 fifths. So if we have 3 fifths on the right hand side, we need to add 3 twentieths to it now. Let's go ahead and do that. 3 twentieths plus 3 fifths. We know that when we add fractions, we need to have the same denominator, so they have the same uh, whole. So this uh, denominator is going to have to be 20. So this is going to be written as 3 twentieths plus something over 20. We know 5 times 4 is 20. So 3 times 4 is 12. We're going to get an answer now of 3 plus 12, that's 15 over 20. And we know we can reduce this. We're going to divide by 5 fifths. And we're going to get an answer of 3 fourths. You might have known that in your head that this was equal to 3 fourths, 15 twentieths, without showing that dividing by 5 fifths. And that's perfect. We've got our final answer. We need to make sure that we work in that correct order of operations. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Parentheses, exponents, multiply and divide, add and subtract. Let's move on to our next slide. So here we have 5 sevenths minus 1 tenth times 4 fifths. We know we need to multiply and divide before we add or subtract, so we're going to do the multiplication. We're going to do 1 tenth times 4 fifths. So if we look at that, 1 tenth times 4 fifths. I'm going to simplify before I multiply. I'm going to cut the 4 in half to get 2. I'm going to cut the 10 in half to get 5. Because 4 tenths is the same thing as 2 fifths. That makes the multiplication easier. 1 times 2 is 2. And 5 times 5 is 25. So we've got 2 20 fifths. Let's go ahead and rewrite. We now have a problem of 5 sevenths minus 2 20 fifths. And what we need to do now is figure out what our least common denominator is going to be. Remember the least common denominator is going to be our least common multiple of our two denominators. So remember, least common multiple, well if we were looking at common multiples of 7 and 25, we could say like 7, 14, 21, 28, 35, and so on. 25, 50, 75, 100, and so on, until we come to the number that they first have in common. The other way is to use a factor tree, 7. Well, 7. If we break down 7, we get 1 and 7. So 7 is prime. 25. 25 can be broken down into 5 times 5. We take the numbers, 5 times 5 times 7, to figure out what our least common multiple is. 5 times 5 is 25, we just saw that. And 25 times 7, 5 times 7 is 35, we're going to carry the 3. 7 times 2 is 14, plus 3 more gives us 17. We've got 175, that's going to be what our least common denominator is. Let's rewrite. 175 as our new denominator, minus 175, our new denominator. Now, we know we multiplied 7 times 25 to get to 175. So let's multiply 5 times 25 to find out what our new numerator is. What is 5 times 125? It's like having 5 quarters. It must be 125. Now we multiply 25 times 7 in order to get to 175. So we're going to multiply our 2 times 7 to find our new numerator because we're writing equivalent fractions. 2 times 7 is 14. And now we can go ahead and find out what our answer is. 
125 minus 14, 125 minus 14. If you can do this with mental math, you don't need to show this part of the problem in your notes. That's going to be 111. So we get 111 over 175. We need to think about if we can reduce this. They are both odd, so we can't cut them in half. Neither are divisible, uh, 111 is not divisible by 5. Neither of them are divisible by 10. 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3. 1 plus 7 is 8. But 7 plus 5, 8 plus 5 is 13. So this number, 175, is not divisible by 3. We've got our final answer, 111 over 175. The hard about, hardest part about this problem was not order of operations. The hardest part was rewriting our fractions after we found our least common denominator and subtracting. Our lesson practice will continue with these topics some more. We'll be on page 153. Please make sure you've got your notes completed, and I'll see you in our next class.